This is Dr. Sandra Kramers, and I just wanted to tell you about a post I just put on my blog called Cell Phone and Computer Use Destroys My Booming Glands and Leads to Chronic Eye Pain from Chronic Dry Eye. Uh, the reason uh, that I posted this is because a patient came in who was very young, and I write about it in the blog post, and his glands, I think, were the worst I've seen in such a young patient um, in the last, uh, since LipaView and LipaFlow and lip scan came out. So I just want to show you what the normal eye gland should look like, which is this. You should see these little white kind of piano keys filled with oil. And then if somebody has scar tissue, these glands will start to disappear. And these patients here, grade three, usually have terrible chronic eye pain, redness, uh, sometimes even styes that come and go, or chronic tearing, uh, burning, sometimes even itching foreign body sensation. And these glands, we do not think come back. So this is a 32 year old gentleman who works in DC and you can see that he has some gland structure here and then a lot of this is all gone. These are almost all scarred. And then here you can see has a little bit left and this is really abnormal for a 32 year old. And then here in the left eye, you can see he has only these two really left. These look like skeleton glands, almost nothing there. And then the same thing in the left lower lid. This is completely dead. These are barely surviving. So he is gonna get a Sjogren's test even though he does not have any dry mouth or arthritis, and uh, which is an SJO test, which I highly recommend. And he is now starting even autologous serum in addition to the warm compress routine, omega-3 uh, diluted uh, tea tree oil scrubs because he has some demodex on his eyelashes, blinking exercises, massaging. So I wanted to show you all this post so you can take a look. Make sure if you have dry eyes, you get your lipis scan. You can send it to me if you'd like through healthtap.com. We can review it together. Uh, but I want to warn patients because I'm seeing younger and younger patients with these types of glands. And this patient in particular said he started uh, spending a lot of time on the computer when he was in fifth grade. And now that computers are going into the schools, I think this is, we're on the brink of a massive epidemic. We already know it's an international epidemic, but I think it's about to be worse if uh, a lot of students are spending time on the computer and their iPhones. So read my blog post about this, especially if you're a parent and your child is on the computer a lot or on their cell phone a lot, and I hope this helps. Okay, uh, reach me on healthtap.com if you have any questions. Bye-bye.